Uh, hi, Bling Bling Studios here. Um, BLG Studios, my good friend on YouTube, has been um, asking me about my QuickCam Pro 9000 settings on Monkey Jam because I, I believe he's been having a bit of trouble. I'm just going to show you guys which I think is probably the best way to do it. So, here it is. So, file new XPS with folders which is what I always do because it means um, you can save the pictures in whatever folder you want so okay overwrite I'm gonna load my profile which is brick filming settings which has um, which I've changed I've changed everything to what I want for brick filming it's like um, frames per second to 15 and stuff so you can do that um, add 10 I'm just gonna open my f um, capture window Might take a bit of a long time. Okay. Okay, so I've got my capture window now. Um, the size 640 by um, 480 pixels, which is what most brick filmers film at, I suppose. Um, image hold one. Make sure that frame averaging is on, because you get a better image quality. Because the light it reduces light flicker in each frame. So go to mode and click stop motion. Video settings. Um, go to camera dialogues and device. Make sure all the auto settings off click off face tracking make sure it's not zoomed and here I've um, made a note of the number value of each one so that for each scene when I'm filming I don't have to sort of guess really what I've what I was at last time so I think I've written them down here somewhere on a sheet of paper and make sure autos off of each of these so um Brightness four eight five one four eight five four there we go contrast one six four two um, there we go uh saturation one four one eight and sharpness obviously a hundred percent because you want to get the best quality. White balance one four nine three and focus obviously you're gonna to have to change this to get your um to to get a crisp image quality for for the film that you're doing so if you want to focus on the foreground or the background um advanced okay get auto gain control off exposure all the way up gain to 1832 there we go anti flicker off then click apply and ok and you're all set this is what I use this is what I'm using for my film depression it may vary, but I'll obviously make a note of it. That's the capture button there, in case you're not familiar with Monkey Jam. So, this isn't this is the end of my tutorial, if you can call it a tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. It's just sort of showing you what I've got. So yeah.